Hi everybody and welcome to this new video in which I'm talking about a new Linux distribution which I found pretty interesting or maybe not but I let you say the last word about it in the comments below. So we're talking about Dev1. What is Dev1? Dev1 is uh, Debian without systemd. Why did they choose to fork Debian uh, to have it without systemd? Well, actually because there are no other ways to get Debian without systemd by now. And that's also why they did it. But before starting complaining about systemd, we should really understand what an init system really is. Well, the init is the first process who starts right after the kernel and his job is to launch all of the other processes and daemons. Generally speaking, it's also a good idea to have it launch other daemons based on events, which is something systemd already takes care of. So the next good question is uh, why so many developers and sysadmins are complaining about systemd and they wish it never existed? To clear out things, I've also watched a conference featuring Franco Lanza, which is uh, the Dev1 lead developer from uh, Veteran Unix Admin Facebook uh, group. And uh, what I understood is this is not just uh, a technical issue. See the hundreds of uh, system D bugs and its controversial design, but also a political matter. First off, systemd was introduced too early in rock-solid-oriented distributions such as Debian. It didn't just cause the disease because of its rush in implementation, but also a lot of confusion in sysadmins having to deal with it from one day to another. And that's not a small thing, considering that systemd is absorbing a lot of Linux utilities and user space. But most of all, systemd is against the Unix philosophy. Systemd executables are linked all together and mutually depend from each other. So you don't really easily replace a systemd component with another one which does the same exact thing. In some cases, Gnome Tree for instance, some software is already systemd dependent. The problem here is uh, we're opening gates to a less flexible system which is gradually being imposed and we already can't get rid of it so easily. Just think that even PHP has a systemd specific references for logging, which prevents you to run PHP without systemd, unless you don't change it from the source and recompile it, of course. Anyway, having a look at the website, pretty nice though. Here we have uh, some current release which starts from uh, 1, but keeps the original Debian Jesse name, as this is the starting point of the fork, and they assure 100% compatibility with the original Debian system. Dev1 Jesse is already a systemd free, fully working Debian Jesse. It uses System5 in it, which is just a temporary solution, and it will be replaced within the next release, probably in favor of OpenRC. And by the way, the website has also a mailing list you can subscribe on, uh, onion links to avoid censorship, and even onion repos. Wow. So would you need to download the release, just grab the first CD image for your platform and you're ready to go. We already have a few distributions based on Dev1, nothing that I'd like to take care of now anyway. And of course you'll find all of the needed documentation in support channels on IRC. So back on track, why not to use systemd? We all agree that System 5 is obsolete and has problems due to its old and static design. We want to have a unified init system across all the distributions, but surely systemd is not a good option to do it. Another reason why? Because every problem should be solved by a small executable which does one thing and it does it right. Remember the KISS philosophy, keep it simple, stupid. And likewise, System 5, we want to be compatible with all Unix system and not just Linux. And of course, we want it to be POSIX compliant. Without these final points, as Franco Lanza said, in a few years, Linux will have no ecosystem around it. And it will be therefore similar to Windows. See, isolating Linux. 
As far as I remember, OpenSSH came from OpenBSD project, guys. I don't want to imagine what we would be using now if systemd was introduced back in the 90s. And another good point is we don't want to get doomed by the red hat of the situation which decided that uh, a feature is no more useful and throws it away just like they're doing it now. For instance, uh, they just removed the, the popular logger in favor of uh, system the alternative. So back to the site, have a look to their pages and articles about the free software and init freedom. Speaking of dev one, the developers team had to recompile over 300 of packages to make them systemd independent and let the user really decide what in its system to use. Who knows, maybe one day systemd will be another OS itself. <clears throat> I'm supposed to be laughing right now. Now let's have a look at the very first beta of Dev1 release, Jesse. And uh, as you can see, it's a regular Debian, Jesse, with um, XFCA for desktop, guess why? Except for the fact that the init system is not systemd, but system5 init. As for the next release, there should be OpenRC. But for now, I can only suggest you guys to have a look at this fantastic project and support the developers if you agree with those principles and believe in free software. I won't even put the link of the conference since it's in Italian, but why don't you just try it out? Please let me know what you think about it in the comments below and see you next time.